For more exclusive comedy reactions, check us out on Patreon. The subscription only starts at $1. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So what are we doing today? So today we're doing a Bill Burr reaction, and we're calling this one Family Trauma. Family Trauma. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. Right. Leave your thoughts in the comment section, y'all. Let's go. <laughs> this is what the 70s and 80s were like. Both your parents work. You got a set of keys to the house when you were three. <laughs> ah, get outside. Get the fuck out of my face, right? <laughs> It was fucking nuts. Yeah, I grew up in a very, like, angry time. You know, like, you were afraid of your dad, your dad's dad. I talked about this shit before, Ooh. but I'm still working through it, so just bear with me. You just were fucking, yeah. Like, I love seeing kids nowadays loving their dad. Like, dad, what's going on? Let's go play, dad. Let's go ride bikes, dad, dad. Yeah, when I was a kid, it was like, dad, dad, fuck, dad, fuck. <laughs> Run, open a window. <laughs> Mom, what did you see in that? <laughs> fucking lunatic, right? Yeah. It was absolute fucking lunacy. And not just my house, I love my parents, but it was just the time. Like everybody was fucking crazy. You were afraid and people could put their hands on you and other people's dads could hit you. And then you go, oh. oh, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> I'll fucking hit you first, I'm just nuts. Teachers would grab you, dig their nails into your fucking neck, she'd come home. Well, well, well she wouldn't have done that unless I'm fucking happened, right? It was all of that shit. Yeah, me and my siblings, we all beat the shit out of each other, you know? Yeah, that and then was And we us. all teased the dog, and the dog bit all of us. And we never got rid of the dog. One time the dog bit me in the face. I was fucking with it, it was eating it. I was like, ah, ah, and it just latched onto my face. It was like, like that. My dad had to stitch me up and everything. We still didn't get rid of the dog. You know? Ah, oh, he's a good dog. He had a moment. Jesus Christ. Well, Jesus Christ, you're starting to put your goddamn face down there. You're the fucking dog. Babe, I swear that was my childhood when I was growing up. Like, every time we got into trouble, my parents were always like, what were you doing? It was like the same thing. Got bit by a dog, stung oh, by wow. bees, and then fighting all the time. Like, what he's saying, that was, that was like my life. Except I never got whooped by a neighbor. Yeah, I, that stopped. Uh, I think our generation okay. where you yeah. couldn't lay your it, hands on other people's it, kids. Oh, but that was man. our parents' generation yeah. where anybody in the neighborhood could, could, beat your ass. could spank you. Because oh, I remember like my mom telling me that story or like an aunt or a cousin be like, back in my day, we could whoop anybody's kids. Yeah. But you 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 can't, you can't do, do that. that now. Yeah. And even when we were growing up, you couldn't do that. Mm. And I think just because the times were changing, because people didn't have good intentions, you know, oh, yeah, it was just too. different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's all it was. It was like, it was weird. We were like the Brady Bunch meets Lord of the Flies. Like on paper, it was great. It was a station wagon full of fucking, you know. Norman Rockwell, we went to church, we got Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> yeah, that was about the fucking, yeah, so. I don't know, so anyway, we all ended up, yeah, my dad was one of these people, like, he said whatever the fuck was on his mind, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know like that haircut women get when they get to a certain age, they got a couple of kids, they just get it cut a little shorter, and they don't want to <laughs> deal with it, they put that little Hillary Clinton flip in it or something, right? They get it all shaved up the fucking back. First time you bend them the over, Marcy you like Darcy your haircut. Friend, Eric, yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, can you rewind it a little but bit? I missed it. Wife, sorry. So you lie. I'm sorry. Oh. And you tell him. Marcy Darcy haircut. Yeah. Uh. No, he's not. Hillary okay. Clinton yeah. flipping it or something, right? They get it all shaved up the fucking back. First time you bend them over, you feel like you're fucking your friend Eric, right? Oh, oh. You know? But you love your wife. So you lie and you tell him, oh, let's go. Ah. Looks great. I always wanted to fuck Geraldine Ferraro. Oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> my dad didn't care. I remember we picked my mother up. She got in the car. He just goes, Oh Christ, it looks like shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what the fuck did they do to you? <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake, you look like a fucking man. <laughs> my mom's just sitting there like, <laughs> We're in the back seat like, All right, this is what a functional relationship looks like. <laughs> 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 so because of all that we all ended up getting like physical ailments from being in the fight or flight mode uh, our whole lives oh. everything gym teachers were scary 
collected on your paper. Everybody was scary, fucking everything. Dude, I remember one time my dad told a priest he didn't deserve to wear the collar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. They were discussing the altar boy schedule. And I don't know, he was wanted to put me on a different mask and my dad started getting his leg on. I'll tell you, I'm gonna wear the fucking collar. <laughs> my jaw was on the ground. And then the best part, next week we go to mass. They haven't spoken in a week, and my dad just comes walking in like, hey, how you doing? What's going on? <laughs> like, nothing happened. Yeah, so anyway, we all end up getting these physical ailments. Like, one of my siblings has stomach problems. Another one has this, just this pain that won't go away in his back. Oh. I remember I had, like, I had, like, alopecia in, like, the third grade. Oh. Third grade, I literally had, like, clumps of hair falling out like I was working on Wall Street, you know? And I was just sitting there like, did I pick up all the toys? Did, did I do the dishes? Did I, he's, he's gonna find something. He always finds something. Fuck. What do I do? I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. That's what I should do. When he's sleeping at night, I'll take an extension cord, I'll wrap it around, put my fucking foot on his back. Oh my God. Billy You're seems to lack the focus in class that he needs. He's not working up to his ability, right? Yeah, so anyway, so I took this, these fucking mushrooms, right? <laughs> and I realized that I have been carrying that shit around and being like, all right, well, that's why I drank the way I did. That's why I've trashed women. Mm. Oh. The way I, all the fucking shit, all the, I knew every fucking thing I did, good mm. and bad, in that moment. I was like, all right, so now I gotta get sober and I gotta fucking work my way through this shit mm. because, uh, you know, my wife's, you know, I. I don't know if you guys noticed, I have a bit of a temper. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you, Bill, yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing, but I, th I didn't think, you know, so I'm so fucked up and grew up such a fucked up time that I didn't even think I had a temper. Because I was like, well, I don't fucking yell at people in my house. Like, I don't like curse my wife out. I mean, we get into it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I get into it with her, but I don't like go like, oh, Jesus Christ, you fucking bitch. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't yell at my kids, but what I do is I, I still do is I flip out. <laughs> so, like I said, I didn't think that this was a problem. My <laughs> wife told me it was a problem, but I don't listen to her, you know? Of course not. <laughs> Why would I listen to her? All she does is criticize, you know? I got nothing but bad reviews on the fucking husband Yelp. It's just all, you know, didn't enjoy the experience. Thumbs down, half a star, never get a fucking attaboy, right? Oh. So it just becomes white noise after a while. After a while. Oh, you know, again? oh, yeah, you again. Okay, great. Great. What did I do? What did I do this? What did I do this time? Huh? What did I have to work on? Go ahead. Me, right? oh. So I don't listen to my lovely wife like an idiot, like the idiot that I am. Oh man, this was hilarious. Babe, what did you think? I thought it was funny and it's very relatable. Mm. Um, although we're from different generations yeah. because I was a latchkey kid. Okay. And I remember seeing a TikTok of this girl who was Generation X talking about how they grew up as well as latchkey kids and had to cook and do all these things by themselves because yeah. their parents were at work. And then when their parents came home, you know, they either were tired mm. or, like, oh. his family, angry. <laughs> right, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> and so you think that is normal, but uh, the relationship thing as well, you know, because when you're living with someone 24 hours a day, sometimes you can put <laughs> heads, you know. <laughs> and you were laughing a little extra hard at some of those jokes. <laughs> So end up disappearing, y'all. Oh, yo. what? Yo, oh, don't even say why. that. Don't even say that. Y'all know why. But you know what? Uh, I I thought what he was saying, especially about like the the trauma that he had from growing up, mm -hmm. from dealing with the the stress of his parents and his uh, yeah. family and everything, and flipping out. I feel like that was like my life mm. because you know, as I said. You know, I came from a large family. My parents would always flip out when we were doing something crazy, especially my mom. And I think that that kind of transferred to me. Yeah. And it's like sometimes that's what happens. Like I'll be all over the place and I'll just flip out and I don't know what's going on. And sometimes I need you to reel me in yeah. and kind of bring me back down to earth. Yeah, because so, you'll yeah. be shouting if for no reason and I'm like whoa what yeah. is going on I'm like everything okay yeah. and yeah. yeah you do flip out it's, yeah. it's, it's odd but now 
I, I yeah, kind of now you know. You a bit more. <laughs> so there you have it. We have uh, Bill Burr, the psychologist. Oh. So guys, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. Let us know what you thought about this video. Of course, check us out on Patreon. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Ta -ta. Peace.